ready to go? Yeah. All right. Um, so this is Clist the Heister. First question is, you are committed to attend Virginia Tech to play soccer, which is an ACC school known for being the most competitive collegiate women's soccer conference in the country. What are you most looking forward to being a Hokie and living in Blacksburg, Virginia? Um, I'm really excited that my roommates and I are all going to be like going through this like pretty identical experience together and um, I'm glad that we get to travel a lot for to play different teams and a lot of the teams that we're playing like Duke, UNC, they're really big names and we're able to compete with them so that's really fun. Um, and the food is known to be really good at VT so I'm excited for that and yeah so that'll be fun. Alright, I didn't write this one down but did you want to go to Virginia Tech and Virginia Tech might not be watching this, but is that like where you wanted to go, or were you like aiming at a different school? Like, well, how did the whole like recruiting process happen for you? Um, I started out like when I was a lot younger, knowing that if I was able to, I'd like to play in the ACC. But we started out looking at schools that were like we started kept building up um, the level, and I was originally committed to Pitt, but when that didn't, when things changed there. Um, Virginia Tech had been interested before and they are interested again. So I went down there and I really liked the campus and I knew it's where I wanted to be like immediately. So um, once I knew that I could play at that level, I definitely wanted to. It's definitely the nicest campus in the league and um, it's just a really good school so I knew I wanted to be there. So this kind of plays into the last question. I'm assuming that there were some. And I got this stuff off of Hokiesports.com. Let's list some of your accomplishments. Try to keep track and see if we're missing anything. You are a Section 6 Class B1 champion, a two-time division champion, the, what it said is the seventh all-time career goal scorer in New York State with 167 goals and also 42 assists, the Big 30 and school record with 57 goals in the season. You are the four-time only in Team MVP, Big 30, three-time selection, and the Rookie of the Year in Big 30, and a three-time first-team All-League player. Yeah. Is there, is there more to that? Um, so, like, state recognition or anything like that? I don't know if they I even have know. that stuff. I don't really, really keep track of Yeah, hopefully you can have a little bit of fun with this one. Um, it was also slated on, I got this off the Hokie website, too, um, Top Drawer Soccer that you are the top ranked forward in New York State and the second overall player. Do you feel like you got slighted and should be the number one overall player in the state? <laughs> no, I don't even know like who that yeah. is or anything, but I think it's a goalkeeper, but yeah. no, it doesn't matter. Um, it's probably tough to pick just one, probably. So what are some of your favorite or most memorable moments so far in your soccer career? Um, well, high school soccer is always a lot of fun, and... Definitely this year we went super far as the farthest we've gone in a while, in over 20 years or something like wild like that. And um, so it was like really fun because when you get to extend the season, you just keep having fun. Our team dinners were always really fun. Um, and then like in terms of my club soccer, we travel a lot across the country. So I've been to a lot of cool places like Arizona, Texas, Florida all over so that's really fun to when we're there we only play like once a day so we get a lot of time to just see everything so that's really cool and then obviously committing to Virginia Tech so what are some of the strengths and weaknesses do you feel like you've left behind to the soccer program here at Olean? Um, I think like we really became like really close this year and hope like the whole team not just by class like other years maybe you're really close to the kids in your class and your age but this year we are all really close with everyone so hopefully that keeps going and we just had a lot of chemistry and a lot of fun and then like in terms of on the field um even on the field we had a lot of fun i feel like and at times it's tense and stuff but when we win we were just like so happy and stuff so um, like, I think 
having a couple really good winning seasons these past couple of years has changed like our mentality as a only a team and stuff. So hopefully that continues on after our year. Yeah, what are some elements in general that you think that it takes to be really good at something? Um, I think like dedication, just like keep working over like keep working to overcome obstacles because even though you might face an obstacle, winning is like still better than giving up. So, um, what was the question again? Um, what are some elements that oh, it takes to be good at something? Um, for it to be good, just like working hard, no matter if you're like at practice or not, it's more important what you do outside of practice. So, for school too, just studying and stuff like that. Yeah, kind of piggybacking off that. What uh, what about like your individual process in? developing your skills or overcoming them, like personal obstacles that you had? Um, so it's not just about like soccer skills, working out in the gym and getting stronger, working outside of your team practice and like other training sessions, conditioning, that's like one of the biggest things the league I'm going into is really about who can run the most. So working on conditioning and just working on all the things that people don't want to work on, but you need to work on in order to like reach your goals. I feel like I did a good job making these questions because that's going to lead me into the next one. Perfect segue. Um, I think that we've talked about or at some point in time I heard that you have gotten a VO2 max test and it's like super high. Like do you have any like any can you explain what that is and also like why do you think yours is so good? Like the beep test? I guess so. Talk about this? I don't know. I thought that what you said you like, max? Um, it's like volume of oxygen max or something like that. Oh, is that where you wear like the mask? Yeah, when they did that test. We do that. I think we do that once I get to college. Oh, all right. Yeah, but like we've done, we do a lot of like, like personally, I do a lot of training where you work on how you breathe because how you breathe, like, can affect your performance obviously like lung capacity and stuff mm -hmm. so like we do different like running tests and they're about endurance and like as you get through the tests like your legs might be burning and your brain's like telling you to stop but if you like keep breathing and keep getting oxygen to your brain it'll like eventually you get past the point of like the lactic acid and like telling your body to stop and you can like it's kind of like runner's high I guess like I don't know what that is it feels like but I feel like it is and you can just like keep running past that and you kind of like can train a certain way to breathe so that you're maximizing your lung capacity. I think that it's awesome that like just that you know that much of all the scientific stuff behind. I feel like that's like very advanced for most high school athletes. Um, what do you feel like you've left behind or what advice would you have for younger Huskies? that are in the soccer program or in the athletic program? Um, first of all, like over the summer, get your team together before preseason because preseason pre is not fun. Like if you're struggling or if your team's struggling, so get together, hang out, um, run over summer and practice. Just like go in with the mentality that it's like you want to win. Don't like go into a game being nervous or any, like you can be nervous, but don't go into a game thinking like, oh, we're going to lose this game because you usually will. I feel like this year we really like went into every game knowing we had a chance because you always have a chance in soccer. It's not the best team skill wise doesn't always win. So just being like kind of, we kind of have an underdog mentality and just going in knowing that if we worked harder and everything that we could always win. So just, keep working hard. All right. Well, thank you. Best wishes in Blacksburg. Hope that you stay healthy and enjoy continued success. And also thank you for your time and thank sharing you. your experience. Thank you. Thanks.